Celebrations in Butler County tonight over a million dollar windfall from an unlikely source. Butler County Auditor Roger Reynolds is returning money. Service fees from each county levy fund his office. Now, after cutting his budget almost in half over the past three years, Reynolds says he has more than he needs. And what once was a spend it or lose it mentality is now a save it and return it commitment to the taxpayers of Butler County. That doesn't happen every day. Deb Silverman spent the day investigating how the money will be spent. She's live in Hamilton with what she's learned, Deb. Carol, the community leaders that I talked with today are thinking more about saving this money than spending it. The money could go to fire safety, classrooms, or street maintenance. One million dollars is being divvied up among 50 entities. How much your community, agency, or school gets is based on the amount they were required to pay the auditor to collect levy funds. When it comes to those extra funds, we don't want to just frivolously spend them. Liberty Township Trustee Christine Matisic says the township plans to save its unexpected $20,000 for an emergency. It's just like any, any household budget. You know, there's going to be something that, you know, comes up, all of a sudden a piece of equipment breaks down or there's a pothole in the road and we need to take care of it right away for the safety of our residents. The director of Butler County's Board of Developmental Disabilities has a similar stance when asked about the 46000 her agency will get back. The fire chief in St. Clair Township hopes his township's $1,200 can go to important life-saving tools that don't fit in the current budget. While St. Clair Township is getting one of the smallest amounts back, Lakota schools will receive the greatest sum, $200,000. Our financial situation is such that we need every penny we can save. The treasurer of Fairfield Schools says the district is grateful for the extra cash, but it doesn't change the need for the levy to pass in November. She says the $100,000 Fairfield is set to receive will just go back to the auditor's office to pay for next year's fee for collecting levy money. $100,000 doesn't even pay for one day of operation for our district. So we're glad to have it, but in the big scheme of things, it's not going to help us lower anything as far as millage goes or amounts for the levy. To find out how much money was returned to your community or your school district, go to our website, WCPO.com.